This video explains how to append two data tables on top of each other using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example. And for this example, we first need to install and load the data table package, as you can see in lines two and three of the code. I have installed the package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line three of the code. And then we also need to create two example data tables, as you can see in lines five to 13. So in lines five to seven, I'm creating our first data table, data one. So after running these lines of code, a new data table object is appearing at the top right, which is called data one. And we can print this data table to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line eight of the code. And then you can see that our first data table contains five rows and the columns x1, x2, and x3. And then I'm creating a second data table, as you can see in lines 10 to 12. So after running these lines of code, another data table called data2 is appearing at the top right. And if we print this data table to the bottom in the RStudio console, you can see that we have created another data table containing also five rows and the three columns x1, x2, and x3. It's important that these three column names are the same as in our first data table. However, you can also see that the values in this data table are different compared to the first data table. Now, if we want to stack these two data tables on top of each other, we can use the rbind list function in combination with the list function. And within the list function, we need to specify the names of the data tables that we want to combine. So in this case, the names of our two data tables are data one and data two. And then I'm storing the output of the rbind list function in a new data table that I'm calling data concat. So after running line 15 of the code, a new data table object called data concat is appearing at the top right. And we can print this data table to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line 16 of the code. And then you can see that our new data table, data concat, is a combination of our two input data tables, data one and data two. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.